Hi, my name is William Craven, and this video will serve as my final submission for TEM 200. Uh, the assignment is to uh, form a plan for my life venture and uh, really how I want my behaviors and, and actions and uh, ideas to shape my future success, uh, both in the entrepreneurial world, uh, in the business world, and uh, in my personal life as well. Uh, most of this was facilitated by uh, coursework we covered, especially in the My Life Venture textbook, which helped to educate me, especially on uh, mindset and uh, habits needed for running a successful business. Uh, one of the first useful uh, assignments we had to undertake was a personal uh, SWOT. It was a strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats assessment so that we could better understand uh, where exactly we could exploit our strengths and minimize and mitigate damage caused by threatening or uh, weak traits. As for my strengths, I was in my leadership and my motivation and desire to get things done. I worked as a uh, quick service manager for quite a few years and that experience informed a lot of my decisions about the business world and really trained me to become better at uh, leading people, managing people, inspiring people. And that's something that I want in any business that I run, whether it's uh, for somebody else or hopefully soon uh, my own venture. Uh, weaknesses uh, include uh, hastiness, I'd say. Uh, I tend to leap before I look, and uh, sometimes that can turn out well, but often it uh, results in poor consequences, uh, as you can expect from, uh, from not properly considering an idea. Uh, opportunities of mine right now are, well, I'm in school working toward a, a bachelor's degree in uh, technological entrepreneurship and management. Uh, I plan on then uh, turning that into a uh, uh, graduate program experience either here at ASU or elsewhere, um, most likely a, uh, an MBA or a, a master's degree in organizational leadership, uh, something along those lines. Uh, really looking to provide value and be able to run and manage something that, that I love to do. Um, at this point, uh, I obviously am looking towards uh, technological entrepreneurship, but um, that could take many forms and I could uh, be running a, a, a typical technological business or startup in a few years or um, even be doing something like a nonprofit. Uh, the sky's the limit there. Uh, the, the really important thing is that I'm doing something that I love, something that I'm passionate about, and something that I can really get behind. Uh, in previous jobs, that, that passion starts out, but it is very difficult to maintain a high level of motivation and desire to uh, make food. It just, it just really is. And after a while, it, you become so divorced from the mission that it becomes uh, more profitable to work elsewhere. So right now, uh, my plan is to take the opportunity I have going to ASU, going to school, and really applying this learning in the professional world and uh, in my own life so that I can make better decisions and become more successful doing something that I love doing. As far as threats go, um, none really right now on the horizon. Um, I'm sure normal uh, normal threats accompany just about everything that we do. Um, you know, I could take a slip down some stairs or or uh, any catastrophic accident. But uh, as far as predictable and manageable threats go, um, there aren't really too many that I haven't attempted to mitigate with my strengths and uh, my opportunities. 
the biggest uh, takeaway from that is how I'll plan my next 20 years. Um, in the 20 year reunion biography assignment that we submitted, I wrote about wanting to have a, a successful company, uh, most likely something uh, consumer electronics oriented, um, dealing with uh, what, uh, what was going to be uh, just purely managing and owning something that I could be passionate about, something I loved. And uh, being able to break down those steps that I would need to get there in incremental chunks, 10 years, five years, one year, um, immediately, uh, really gave a lot of insight into not only the work that was needed to complete my goals, but uh, really crystallized it into an actionable plan to make that happen. Obviously, in the next six months, I'll still be in school, um, but I can begin to conduct research, network, find the appropriate people who will help make my venture successful. Uh, in five years, I'll have been out of school, um, probably out of my master's program as well, if it comes to that, and uh, be working on gathering investments and founding a fledgling startup that uh, will ensure my future success. Uh, Ten years down the road will really be the bellwether point where I will know if my business is truly successful and truly has uh, scalability and staying power or if it's something that fails. Uh, I believe it was uh, in a TMC course uh, earlier this spring offered uh, through the Polytechnic School uh, as part of my major requirements. Uh, we had to watch a, uh, a presentation on entrepreneurship and uh, the presenter uh, indicated that typically it takes about 10 years for a good startup to manifest itself into a really successful industry observed company. And Here's potentially where another one of my weaknesses comes into play, and that's pride. I, If I'm going to do something and I'm going to found a company, I want it to be successful. I want it to be something that somebody points to and says, look, you could be the next whatever my company name is going to be. You could be the next William Grape. Um, I never put much stock into um, other entrepreneurs other than looking at their their behaviors and habits and what they want to do. I don't necessarily want to be the next Elon Musk. I want to be the next, I only want to be me, really. And regardless of what I do, as long as it's something that I'm passionate about and that I love and that I can translate into a productive business model, I'm sure I'll be successful. And this course really helped emphasize the not only the nuts and bolts aspects of making sure you can manage your finances appropriately, making sure you know how to relate your value proposition to your customer segments and how to strategize against uh, competition and how to conduct market research, but it gave a sense that to be a successful entrepreneur, you really had to be a successful person. You had to be for lack of a better description, you had to be virtuous. You had to be able to uh, be disciplined and be courageous and take risks and be creative in ways that other people weren't willing to. Because at the end of the day, without that kind of creativity, you're not being an entrepreneur. You are copying at best. And as I go through this course and really the other the other courses in the uh, in the TEM program, um, I do find uh, similar to the the other takeaway video, the exemplar that we were um, asked to view, uh, the information is not it is repeated, but it's not 
repetitive in that there's always something of value to be gained from the focus on how I manage myself and how I need to manage others and that will extend to how I manage a business. So the, the biggest takeaway from from this TEM course is really that to be successful, to launch my venture, to run it, to own it, to manage it, and to really invest time and, and effort into what is going on will really depend on my ability to manage myself. And there's nothing more liberating and also scary knowing that success or failure depends on solely on how you conduct yourself and the actions you choose. Um, even from how you choose to represent yourself to your shareholders and investors and, and even your employees to the choices you make when forming your business model. And regardless of the revenue generated by my future venture, these lessons won't be forgotten because while not formative in my education, they are um, going to be ingrained in there. They are wonderful nuggets of, of truth that will allow you know, me and really my cohort of students to usher in the new century and, and succeed in ways that are unimaginable. And that is such a powerful statement that it's, it really speaks to my sense of responsibility and ownership in that if I don't live up to that potential, I will have failed. I will have done something wrong. Because in addition to just launching a startup and managing a business and and being able to assess customers is the, the undercurrent of the social responsibility we have to our communities and our countries and, and really the globe. Uh, so if I spend my time doing anything other than succeeding, uh, I've done much more than just fail myself. I've failed my wife, my future children, uh, really my my community and uh, you know that sense of community can be extended out to to include everyone in the globe eventually so really the what I took away from this course is that not only do I have the responsibility to manage myself and manage a wonderful business but I have the responsibility to everyone else to do everything I can to reach my potential. And without that, and without the education I'm receiving, um, I don't think my potential could truly be met. So this this program and uh, this guidance along the way through the through the online program and through interactions with with other students uh, is invaluable in making sure that I equip myself with the tools and resources necessary to ensure future success. And with that, I will leave you. Thank you.